اوكي هاي رح ارجع سجل الفيديو مرة ثانية انه أول مرة نسيت تو ريكورد سو اي هاف تو ريكورد ذيس اكسرسايز وانس اجين سو 2017 2015 فيرست تشانس Part A. We have a function g which is defined on R. So domain is minus infinity plus infinity. Gx equal x minus 1 plus e to the x. Part 1. Show that g is strictly increasing on R. To prove a function is strictly increasing, its derivative should be positive for every x belongs to R. So here is gx. A g prime x, derivative del x1, derivative del minus 1 is 0, derivative del e to the x <coughs> is e to the x. So derivative del gx is 1 plus e to the x, which is positive for every x. Uh, so G prime X positive, so G is strictly increasing for every real number. So here G X, as we have said, as we said, G prime X, derivative of X is one, derivative of E to the X is E to the X. The E to the X is always positive, so one plus a positive number is always positive, greater than zero for all x belongs to R, then G is strictly increasing on R. Strictly increasing since its derivative is positive. <clears throat> now, we complete, set up the table of variations of G. Set up the table of variations of G. To set up the table of variations, first we put the domain x, domain of real numbers, minus infinity plus infinity, g prime x, gx. From the above, g prime x is positive, and the function is strictly increasing. At minus infinity, we have to calculate the limit at minus infinity. Limit as x tends to minus infinity of gx equal minus infinity. We replace x by minus infinity minus one. E to the minus infinity is zero. So we get minus infinity and we put here minus infinity. Limit as x tends to plus infinity of gx. We replace each x by plus infinity. This one becomes plus infinity. Minus one is minus one. E to the power plus infinity is plus infinity. Infinity plus infinity is plus infinity. So a function is increasing if the derivative is positive. The derivative is one plus e to the x is always positive. So the function is increasing from minus infinity till plus infinity. Calculate a g of zero. A g of zero will place x by zero in this equation, in this function. Zero minus one is minus one plus e to the zero, one. So g of zero is zero g of zero equals zero minus one plus e to the zero is one equal to zero. Now to study the sign of gx, then study according to the values of x, the sign of gx. To study the sign of gx, we have two ways. First way, I put x, I put gx in a table, table of sign of gx, domain minus infinity plus infinity. g of zero, g of zero is zero. Now to know the sign in this interval between zero and plus infinity, 
we replace a number greater than zero in the function. If we replace two, two minus one is one plus e squared. E squared is 7.38, so we get positive. So here positive, negative. So we have to write them gx equal to zero for x equal to zero. gx negative, the x belongs to, for x belongs to minus infinity zero, the open interval minus infinity zero. And finally, gx is positive, the x belongs to zero plus infinity. So this is the first method by making a sign table for GX, or we can use the table of variations because in part one, you are asked about the table of variations. And since of G of zero is zero, I put here zero and here I put zero. So G of zero is zero. I put zero here zero. In the interval minus infinity zero, is x belongs to minus infinity zero, g is increasing from minus infinity to zero, so gx is negative. So for x belongs to minus infinity zero, <clears throat> we have gx is increasing from minus infinity to zero, so it is negative. And for x belongs to zero plus infinity, x belongs to open interval zero plus infinity, G is increasing from zero to plus infinity, so GX is positive. And for X equal to zero, GX equal zero. Part B, we have another function, F, also defined on R by FX equal X minus two E to the X over one plus E to the X. We see is its curve in an orthonormal system, OIJ. And we have the line delta with equation y equal x minus two. So a function and a line. Part one, we are going to calculate or to determine limit as x tends to minus infinity of fx. Limit as x tends to minus infinity of fx, we replace x by minus infinity. Minus infinity minus 2 is minus infinity. So this bracket gives minus infinity. e to the minus infinity 0, so minus infinity times 0, over 1 plus e to the minus infinity 0. It will be 1 plus 0, 1. So it remains minus infinity times 0 over 1. Infinity times 0 we change the form. Either we expand or we put this EX, which is in the numerator, we put down in the denominator, it becomes multiplication. So E to the X, we put it down, it becomes times E to the power minus X. So limit as X tends to minus infinity of FX, equal minus infinity minus two by replacing x by minus infinity, e to the minus infinity over one plus e to the minus infinity. Minus infinity minus two is minus infinity. e to the minus infinity is zero. One plus zero is one. So infinity times zero is indeterminate. Then I put ex, this ex in the numerators, uh, in the numerator uh, here, this EX, I put it in the denominator. So it remains in the numerator. So limit as X tends to minus infinity of FX equal limit as X tends to minus infinity, X minus two, one plus E to the X. Pay attention, we put this one between brackets times E to the minus X. So we multiply it we put it plus or minus, we multiply it by e to the minus x. Now x minus two remains the same. We expand one times e to the minus x is e to the minus x. e to the x times e to the minus x is e to the zero, which is one. 
So limit as x tends to minus infinity of fx equal limit as x tends to minus infinity x minus 2 e to the minus x plus 1. Now uh, equals minus infinity over plus infinity. We replace x by minus infinity. Minus infinity minus 2 is minus infinity over e to the power plus infinity is plus infinity. So minus infinity over infinity. We apply Hopital's rule. Hopital's rule, we say limit as x tends to minus infinity. Derivative of x minus 2 is 1. Derivative del e to the power minus x. First, I make the derivative of minus x, which is minus 1, times e itself, which is e to the minus x. Now we remove the limit and we replace x by minus infinity equal 1 over minus. It becomes minus minus. It becomes e to the power plus infinity, which is plus infinity. Multiplied by minus is minus infinity. And we get 0. So 0 times infinity is indeterminate. We put ex from the numerator. We put it in the denominator. Then you apply Hopital's rule derivative, limit of the derivative over derivative. Deduce an asymptote to C. We are going to deduce an asymptote to C. Here, we get limit as x tends to minus infinity equal to 0. Then y equals zero, or the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. So at minus infinity, we have the line of equation y equal to zero is an asymptote. Part two, study according to the values of x, the relative position of C and delta. To study the position between a curve and a line, we, ha we have to study the sign of fx minus y delta. If fx minus y delta zero means delta cuts C or C cuts delta. If fx minus y delta negative, means c is below delta. And if x minus y delta positive, we say c is above delta. So first of all, we have to find fx minus y delta and study its sign. fx minus y delta. This is fx minus y delta. Okay, to calculate this difference, we take the LCM. So x minus 2 e to the x remains x remains the same. We multiply 1 plus e x times x minus 2. We multiply the denominator 1 plus e x times x minus 2. And pay attention for this minus, we put it in brackets. over one, the denominator is one plus e to the x. We can expand, then we reduce, or we can factorize. Here we have x minus two common, x minus two common. I take x minus two common, remains e to the x, minus, I want minus, open brackets, one plus e to the x. So x minus 2, I remove the inside brackets, e to the x minus 1 minus e to the x, minus 1 minus e to the x. Then e to the x minus e to the x is 0. I multiply minus 1, the x minus 2, it becomes minus x plus 2 over 1 plus e x. So this is fx minus y delta. 
Well, one plus ex is always positive, so I don't uh, take its sign. So the sign of fx minus y delta is affected by the sign of the numerator minus x plus two. So we solve fx minus y delta equal to zero. It means that minus x plus two equal to zero, then x equal two. So since one plus ex is positive, is not affecting the sign. So the sign of fx minus y delta is affected by the sign of the numerator. So I take minus x plus two equal to zero, x equal two. Then we make a sign table. In this sign table, x, I put the domain, which is minus infinity plus infinity. And the value of x that I get here, which is two. Here, I need to determine the sign of fx minus y delta. At two, fx minus y delta is negative. To know the sign on between two and plus infinity, of fx minus y delta, I replace x by a number in this interval, any number. So x equals three, for example, if I put instead of x three, I get minus three plus two, which is minus one over one plus e cube, which is positive. So here it is negative, here it is positive. Positive means c is above delta. Negative means C is below delta for X greater than two. It will help in drawing the curve. So for X greater than two, C is below delta. At zero means C cuts delta or delta cuts C at the point. The abscissa size is two. To find the ordinate, we replace X by two. Uh, either in the equation of the line, line will be y equal x minus two, y equal two minus two, which is zero, or we replace it in the function fx. If we replace it in fx, appeared, we get two minus two is zero, it is the same. So either we replace x by two in the equation of the line, two minus two is zero, or in the equation of the function, we get zero. Means delta cut c at the point to zero. We get zero. Delta cut C at the point to zero. Now, <clears throat> part three. Limit as X tends to plus infinity of F. If we replace x by infinity, in the numerator, I get infinity minus two is infinity times e to the infinity is infinity. So infinity times infinity over one plus e to the power infinity, which is infinity. So infinity over infinity. I can do it like that. Fx equals x minus two e to the x over <clears throat> e to the x plus one. Limit as x tends to infinity, lemana infinity over infinity. I can do it by two ways. Either I take the highest power, so limit as x tends to plus infinity of fx equal limit as x tends to plus infinity of the highest power, uh, not e to the x, it is multiplied by x, x e to the x over e to the x. Simplify e to the x with e to the x, we get plus infinity. 
So infinity over infinity, I can take the limit of the highest power of the numerator over the highest power of the denominator, or <clears throat> we can choose Hopital's rule. So if we choose Hopital's rule, So limit as x tends to plus infinity of fx, Hopital's rule, since we get limit infinity to infinity, Hopital's rule, the numerator is of the form u dot v, u prime is of the form u dot v, u prime v plus v prime u. u prime is one times e to the x, plus v prime e to the x times x minus two. So e to the x plus e to the x into x minus two. The denominator is one plus e to the x. Its derivative is e to the x. Now I can take e to the x common in the numerator. So limit as x tends to plus infinity e to the x common. One plus x minus two remains. e to the x and e to the x zero by replacing x by infinity we get plus infinity so the two methods give plus infinity you can choose the one you like and sure the line delta is an asymptote sure here and limit as x tends to plus infinity then you are asked about the asymptote delta so we are going to verify that the limit as x tends to plus infinity of fx minus y delta should be zero at x tends to plus infinity. So limit as x tends to plus infinity, then fx minus y delta, limit as x tends to plus infinity. fx minus y delta is determined here in this part, which is minus x plus two over one plus e to the x minus x plus two over one plus e to the x. Replacing x by infinity, we get minus infinity over infinity, which is indeterminate. By applying Hopital's rule, we say limit as x tends to plus infinity of fx minus y delta, Hopital's rule, equal limit as x tends to plus infinity, derivative of the numerator, minus x plus two, its derivative is minus one, Derivative that e to the x is e to the x. Now replacing x by infinity, we get minus one over e to the power plus infinity is a plus infinity. Minus one over plus infinity is equal to zero. Then the line delta of equation y equal x minus two is an oblique asymptote to c at plus infinity. We have to say it is an asymptote at which side of infinity, at plus infinity or at minus infinity? At plus infinity. Because at minus infinity, we have the line y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote. Now show that f prime x equal ex times gx over one plus ex squared f prime x, fx is of the form u over v, f prime x is u prime v minus v prime u over v squared. Okay, this is fx, it is of the form u, this is, we call it u, and this one is v. u equals we notice that u is of the form of the product, then u prime is equal. u prime derivative of x minus two is one times e to the x plus v prime, v is e to the x, v prime is e to the x into u. So it is e to the x common 
into 1 plus x minus 2 by taking ax common remains 1 plus x minus 2 x 1 minus 2 is minus 1 x minus 1 e to the x v is 1 plus e to the x then v prime equal e to the x then f prime x equals u prime v this is u prime x minus 1 times e to the x into v minus v prime is e x into x minus 2 e to the x over v squared. I can take e x common or we can expand. e x common remains here in the first factor remains x minus 1 into 1 plus e to the x minus in the second factor remains x minus 2 e to the x over 1 plus e to the x squared, not necessary to expand the denominator. So e to the x, we expand. x times 1 is x. x times e to the x is x e to the x. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times e to the x is minus e to the x. Then x times e to the x is x e to the x multiplied by minus, which is minus x e to the x. Minus 2 e to the x multiplied by minus 2 is a plus 2 e to the x. e to the x comma x minus 1. x e to the x or minus x e to the x is 0. So remain now minus e to the x plus 2 e to the x minus e plus 2 e to the x is plus e to the x x minus 1 plus e to the x x minus 1 plus e to the x is gx so it is equal f prime x equals e to the x times gx over 1 plus ex squared Now, since e to the x is positive and 1 plus e power x squared is positive, then f prime x, f prime x has the same sign as gx. f prime x has same sign as gx. Sign of G, as we have thought. So F prime X has the same sign as G. The sign of G between minus infinity and zero negative, between zero and plus infinity, it is positive. So f prime x has the same sign as gx. So x, f prime x, fx, between, so minus infinity and zero, gx is negative, so f prime x is negative between zero and plus infinity. G is positive, then f prime is positive. Negative means the function is decreasing. Positive means the function is increasing. At minus infinity, we get the limit y equals zero, which is a horizontal asymptote. At plus infinity, the limit is plus infinity, and we have the line delta is an oblique asymptote. The minimum f of zero, if we replace x by zero, zero minus two minus two minus two e to the zero, we get minus one. The minimum is minus one. f of zero equals zero minus two to one over one plus one <coughs> equals 
minus one. Finally, part five, plot, delta, and C. Always, to, whenever we need to draw the curve, first we draw the asymptotes, locate the minimum and the maximum, uh, intersection مع the oblique asymptote or the x-axis or y-axis, and we take particular points. If they, these are not enough, we take particular points. So we have y equal to zero, is a horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis. We put dotted uh, on the extreme, on the here and here, so it is a horizontal asymptote. The line delta of equation y equal x minus two, for x equal zero, y equal minus two, and for x equal two, y equal to zero. And we plot the oblique asymptote. We have the minimum zero minus one. F of zero is equal minus one. Two zero is the point of intersection of the curve and the line delta, the oblique asymptote. Between minus infinity and two, we have seen that C is above the asymptote. Here, whenever we studied the position, between minus infinity and two, C is above delta. Between two and plus infinity, C is below delta. Also, you can take particular points. Uh, by particular points, you will check that this curve is below the oblique asymptote. So the curve, according to the table of variation, it decreases at minus infinity, it is zero. The y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote, decreases to the minimum here, then it will increase to plus infinity near the oblique asymptote. It will cut the oblique asymptote at two zero and here it becomes below the oblique asymptote. Part six about inverse function. For this year, you are not responsible for the inverse function. That's all for this exercise.